In this video, we're going to take a look at the Quad Draw tool. Now, the Quad Draw tool is part of the Modeling Toolkit, which we can turn on or off through that icon. The Quad Draw tool has lots of different functionality. It allows us to trace or rebuild existing geometry, but we can also build geometry from the tool itself without having a reference object. We're going to first use our hand here to rebuild another hand, and you can just kind of see how this process works. So I'm going to select this object and make it a live surface. Now, a lot of times what we do is we get models that maybe come from scanned data. There's lots of free resources out there on the web that we can download these types of models. But when we get the models, we can see that they're just massive as far as their vertex count and their overall geometry. And then you look at the geometry and it's just ugly. You've got edges and stuff just going in every which direction. The model's basically unusable. So what this quad draw tool allows us to do is draw over the model and reconstruct it so that we have workable and usable geometry. So first I'm going to make that a live surface, and it currently is, and I have the name of the model there. This will then allow me to use the quad draw tool to draw directly onto the surface. Let's just start right here. If I wanted to rebuild this model, I could then click quad draw, and I will click on my model, on my live surface, with the left mouse button. That's going to put a dot, and let's just create a couple more dots. And you can see that those are actually sitting on the surface of my model. And now that's four points. Now if I hold shift within proximity of these points, I get a quad. And so now inside of there, I'm going to left click, and that creates a quad polygon. I could then continue, drop two more dots, and click and create another quad. If I really have a good idea of where I'm going and what I'm doing, I could drop a bunch of dots, hold shift, left click and drag, and that will then complete that geometry as I go. And you can see all those dots disappear when the quad is created. Let's draw a couple more here and draw those out. Now, another thing that we can do is once we draw those, we're not trapped. We can still left click and drag and that will move the point on the surface. So it's still using that live surface, and I can relocate this geometry. And we are not limited to vertices. We can move entire faces or even the edges and reposition it where it makes sense. Let's just add a couple here. I'm going to come over to this edge and choose the Tab key. This green edge here, and you can see my mouse kind of changes, we can extend an existing edge. So I'm going to pull that down. And now I get a new edge. So that's tab, grab, and drag. And let's just pull this around. We'll hit tab, drag that. I'm going to click that and pull that over just a bit. So you can see just how interactive this is. I'm really close to another piece of geometry. The Quad Draw tool still recognizes those points, so I don't need to drop any dots, and I don't need to extend. I can just hold Shift, and it will auto-complete, and I can click and create that quad right inside of there. So look, already I've got a pretty decent lower-res model going here. Now, I'm going to hold Tab and right-click. And this is going to bring up a marking menu that will allow me to make some extra changes here. Instead of extending just an edge, we can also extend an entire loop. So now I'll go to Extend Loop, just line it up here, and I'll hit Tab again, left click, and I can drag that entire loop out. And just extend that whole thing down and rapidly create the geometry there for the finger. Now it kind of jumped right in between there. Let's do one more extension just to kind of pull that down. Now I could left click and drag those points, but we also have another feature here. If I hold shift, it goes to a relax brush. 
And now I can actually paint and relax my geometry, which will help soften it up and will also help it kind of get into some of those nooks and crannies a little bit better. Now that wasn't perfect. It didn't all the way get in there, but we'll just bring that edge. So I just moved one edge there and then I'll relax the adjacent edges. It wants to go to it. Now we can also hit B and increase the area of influence relaxing. So I'm going to bring that up a bit and relax. We're at the border edge here, so actually we're not getting too much action there with the relax tool. So a couple of other things that we can do is also to delete geometry. And I'm going to turn that brush off. There we go. And if I hold control and shift down at the same time, we get the delete option. And you'll notice here too, as I move it over, you can see I can delete quite a bit. So I can delete an entire face, an edge. We can't quite grab just a vertex because it does want to retain those quads as much as possible. If we hold just control, we can insert edge loops which now makes this super powerful because when those edge loops get added, they automatically conform to my surface. Click and add one more there. Hold control shift and I'm going to delete all of these edges here. What I could have done was just extruded this out and you can see it's totally missing all the detail in the finger, but then by holding control, I can insert and boom automatically conforms to my surface. And that's even better because then I can actually insert those edge loops right where the detail is. Just come right in there. Then hold shift and relax it up. Very powerful tool. Now I'm just going to click off of there and let's just turn off our live surface. Just want to show you one more thing with the quad draw tool. And this can be done on the live surface as well, but without the live surface, if I hold tab, I get a floating quad. And if I click, it'll actually draw out those faces. If you're holding tab and you get that quad, you can also middle mouse and increase the size of that particular face and draw with that as well. And you can see that those are just kind of floating out there. Now, if I want to get back to my model, I can right click on that magnet and make the hand a live surface again. And I'll go to tab, we'll decrease the size of that. And I can draw faces right over the model there. Push and pull to shape that up. Very cool tool, very powerful tool. This concludes our video on the quad draw tool.